Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Everyone. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And there is a lot of excitement and hype around Zack Snyder's new film, Army of the Dead, which stars Dave Bautista. And of course, one thing that's always awesome whenever a movie like this comes out that has such an interesting cast, and it seems like the cast members probably had a lot of fun filming this movie, is always the awesome things that come out of interviews and press tours when we get to see the cast promote the film. And this time around, things were no different and there were some really unique and interesting details from behind the scenes of Army of the Dead, along with some funny moments that popped up during the interviews along the way that we wanted to look into and discuss as there's some really unique context that came up during some of the interviews that have happened. So let's go ahead and jump into it and just focus in on Dave Bautista at first. Now in general, a lot of the interviews that Dave Bautista was in, he really talked about a pivoting moment for his acting career and how he really wants to focus on showing the different dimensions that he has as an individual actor and that in general, he doesn't necessarily want to just become a regular stereotypical action hero as he has more of an acting ability than just that. See, imagine- I remember that part. Imagine the zombie well, eating everyone, and then everyone's inside. Pinocchio you know, and then, in there. The, and then the, and then the movie <laughs> happens inside of the whale's stomach. Anna, please, this is too <laughs> graphic. <laughs> and does anyone else uh, have some particular zombified animals that come to mind that you think would make some bizarre additions? If I had my choice, but I would have gotten up and being like a full-blown zombie and like let my zombie out a little bit. <laughs> just to, to have that opportunity. But uh, no, I don't think that's weird at all. That's not odd at all. I think everybody wants that. Um, it feels like you're also setting up this kind of incredible universe too, right? Are, are there plans to take it beyond that? I mean, I was I was surprised at how the movie went, but I did feel that you were kind of leaving it open for potential like uh, explorations. Of yeah, the absolutely. Before. I mean, you know, we're doing an animated prequel and I'm directing those two and executive producing. It's a it's six episodes. Also, there was another interesting moment where Dave Bautista kind of talked about what animal would be really scary as a zombie, besides just something like a zombie tiger. Outside of the animals we see in Army of the Dead, what do you think could be the scariest zombified animal? Oh man, scarier than a zombie tiger? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. A zombie elephant would, would be petrifying. Um, I, I, I'm going to go with that. I think a zombie elephant would be absolutely terrifying. There was also this interesting moment with Dave Bautista where he talked a little bit about acting and trying to build more depth and emotion with his characters and kind of uses glasses, which are something that he wears in real life as an indicator to kind of convey this in one way or another. And those, you know, those are guys that I, you know, I liked watching when I was growing up, but it's just not, it's not who I am as a performer or as a person, and I want to portray something different. I want to give people, you know, kind of a different look at, uh, you know, of, of their action hero. You know, show a guy with some heart and have a guy that they can relate to and empathize with. And, you know, so I, I do that through emotion. I do that even through simple things like wearing glasses. Then in another interview, the cast members of Army of the Dead were asked about if they were to die before even opening up the script and before knowing the fate of their own characters, what would have been their preferred way to die in a zombie movie? And Dave Bautista had an answer for that as well. Picture though, because you know what happens when, and, um, and, and I hope all of Ireland is laughing when they hear this, but we all know that there's so many stray dogs in the, in the world and, uh, God bless them for knowing how to survive from, you know, one Monday to the next Monday. But the zombie poodle, you kind of feel like there's no way that the zombie poodle is a hood dog who's just running around in the, you know, the the, the alleyways and the, and the parts of the neighborhoods that they shouldn't be in. Another actor that had a pretty big role in this film, of course, was Omari Hardwick. And he was really unique in this film and definitely conveyed a lot of extra information in the general interview processes that were kind of interesting. I want, to be, I want to be an actor and I want people to be able to watch my films or know about me and say that this guy can do everything. This guy is a, is, is a full ranged actor, actor and I, that just means more to me than being an action hero. So I do, I look for those things, I ask for those questions 
even one of the first things I ever asked about a character, if someone comes to me and we got this role for you, I always say, is, is, is the guy intelligent? Is, the <laughs> is his character intelligent? Because people... Also, similarly enough, Omari was asked about what animal or what things would be really creepy to see as a scary zombie, and he answered his own opinion. I'm going to tell you something. As a fellow American, but parenthetically stated, italicized, underlined, what have you, as a black American man, we die too quick in the zombie movies, man. So no, I kind of, for the first time, you know, I never really listened to the friends and family who go, please don't tell me you're dying. They all asked that in the beginning of a And we did even get to hear him talk about some of the other questions that we saw Dave Batista answer as well. Like if he got to pick his own zombie death, what would it have been like from his own perspective? Um, uh, <laughs> no, I, I thought, you know, uh, I, I never, th to be honest, I never thought about that, Jake. I just wanted, to, it just you know, when I opened up the script and I read the first page, I just thought, let it, let the German be funny. Let the German be funny, and maybe if I turn into a zombie in the script, let the zombie be funny, and uh, and uh, <laughs> and here we are. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. We wanna give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, every single Monday, we do a challenging Marvel trivia question. So if you guys want Want to participate make sure you guys are subscribed here to film artsy head over to our community tab on mondays and participate in our marvel monday question for a chance to have your comment featured right here on this channel we also do dc thursdays if dc is more of your thing and you can still participate by going over to our community tab on thursdays so make sure you guys participate if you want a chance of having your comment featured right here but there were also other interviews from the rest of the cast and since this movie had a pretty wide range of very talented actors in it with ranging roles being a part of the main cast. It was always interesting to see how they answered some questions as well when they were presented with them. Uh, well, yeah, I feel empowered. Um, no doubt, I feel empowered, Andrew. Uh, I don't, in my gut, I do not believe I could take on a zombie army though. Um, I would try, but I, 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 I don't think I can do it. This also gave us the idea to ask you guys who are watching this video what animal you guys would think would be the scariest thing to see in a zombified form. So if you have an idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and we'll take a look through and see who actually has the scariest idea for what would just be absolutely terrifying to see. Then of course, as always, Zack Snyder did promote the film as well, answering some questions from various interviewers along the way. One thing that definitely stood out was Zack Snyder talking about Dave Bautista as an actor and really underlined the performance and abilities that this guy has as a three-dimensional actor. There is this like incredible vulnerability to him, you know, just without saying anything, you know, you look at him and he's like, he, he, the still water runs deep, as they say, you know, um, yeah. and, I, and I think that that, you feel that. And in the movie, he really does an incredible job, you know, um, in, in the sort of depth of his pain, you know, it's really, it's really something else. We also did see Zack Snyder do a promotion with Netflix where he watched a fan-made trailer, which was actually really well done. It's very low budget, but that's kind of the charm of it. And he reacted to it and talked a little bit about it. And it was something just really cool to take a look at. There's $200 million. I love, I love this. Okay, there's the safe. There's the dials of the safe. This should be a simple in and out. It's not too late to go back. I like that these... I think these are, what are those, beans or I don't know what, seeds? Those are all the zombies, that's amazing. So overall, what did you guys think of Army of the Dead? Did you like the cast that was chosen for this film? And do you think Zack Snyder did a good job? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every day of the week. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.